Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm starting off this video for the completions for the month of February. So I took the month of January off and I am now back at it. When I started up I had to make three t-shirts and then I also made one for myself. So I thought that I would start with those. This t-shirt is for Peggy O'Connor. She, if you didn't know, is subscriber of the year which was announced at the end of uh, the year in 2020. Peggy is now 2021 subscriber of the year. Congratulations Peggy and thank you so much for all your support. This was a request to make this shirt. Needed it in a particular size so I did it for this person and I kind of liked the message. <laughs> so I made one for myself here but I changed the font I love funny, funky fonts, and I just thought this was too cute. I'm actually going to wear this for my Quilting Gills online quilt retreat. Thought it was really cute. And then also, last shirt that was requested as an order here is this So So Busy Quilting shirt. As you all know, I was off for the month of January and i had been getting orders toward the end of january because people knew i were coming back uh, people knew i was coming back to work so they were getting their orders in so this is just a start i also have collected three quilts that need to be quilted i have also collected three orders for making someone three t-shirt quilts so i have those as well so i am going to be starting off here pretty busy uh the quilt top that was on my frame is no longer on my frame right now because i just took it off so that it can get the stitching off my dear friend kevin has offered to take out the, the stitching for me so i really appreciate that he's such a great friend and it had been holding up my workspace and so I finally got it all cleaned out here so I can do some work up here because I've been organizing a lot so that's what I've been mostly busy doing doing my January but I will do like a quick January video as well so it'll be uploaded way before you see this but I haven't just been doing nothing in January I did even upload a couple of videos that I wasn't even supposed to upload in Hello Tea Quilters, today is Sunday, April 4th, and I have probably already added an introduction into this video at the beginning, but I'm just showing you projects that I have been working on. As you all know, my machine has been down for a couple of months, and partly because I didn't have time to deal with it, but also getting things fixed, I was actually into doing some test quilting. So here you see the Drunkard's Path quilt that I pieced during one of my live sewing chats. It actually was leftover pieces from some kits that I sold. And I had 12 blocks left. And so I decided to make this little quilt here. And the reason I'm showing you this is that I was quilting on it. My first quilt from having my machine completed. And I just like to troubleshoot with you all so you kind of know what's going on here. But I wanted to do a fancy design in the center of my circle portion of my drunkard's path and then I also wanted to do this cross hatching in the background and I have taken this quilt apart many times and I don't know if the camera lens will allow you to see the stitching that has been taken out I've taken this down once and I've got to take what I the back cross hatching out again on the screen it shows that all of these areas are cropped out but when it stitches out it still 
stitching in these particular areas and I have tried numerous ways to do that like again I said the screen is showing that it's completed so after stitching this twice and having to take things out I decided to go ahead and put this same design on another quilt top but use it as an overall design to see if it's the design is messing up or if it's my machine software messing up so here we have star of the east and so I did this same cross hatching on this particular quilt and it's pretty funny because with this stitching you can still see where this point on the screen was lined up exactly with this point <laughs> and when it stitches out it's just not happening it's about a quarter of an inch off and then also about an eighth of an inch to the right so something is going on with this particular diagonal cross hatching and I haven't figured out exactly what it is a lot of you all like to see the back fabrics as well this is just a piece of scrap that I had left over from making my niece a quilt many years ago just always loved it so I put that on the back of that one on the back of this one just some backing fabric that I had small pieces left over not backing fabric but yardage that I had used on the backing of another quilt didn't have enough so I just put this stripe on both sides so then after that didn't work my third test was to quilt this quilt here that I got from my friend Diana that just passed at her estate sale I took some of the tops or completed projects and maybe use them as charity quilts and things like that so I just did an all over simple panto I think this is called Target and just used it to practice and see if the panto would run correctly on this particular sample it did run correctly and then on the back I have some old calico print that I just used to get rid of it so that's that completed quilt and then I'm also quilting some quilts for Dee Dee Hansen out of Michigan she sends her quilts to me to quilt and this one is for a baby quilt um, I can't get the wind to not blow the batting on the bottom portion, but you can see the majority of it. Um, it is very pretty. It's got animals. I'll go up and give you a little closer look. And then she uh, pieced the backing with just any fabrics that she had left over or that were in the color way of this quilt top. So pink, white, and black looks very nice. I like the coloring. So the quilting on here is called Curls. Very pretty. Nice design that I use a lot, one of my staples. And then this is just some of the backing. You can see where she's got just different pieces that have been put together. She's even got flannels, things to add different texture on the back, but the front is all just regular 100% quilt cottons. And then this next quilt here also is Dee Dee's. It's for a wedding gift and it's reproduction fabrics. I'll put the name up. She gave it to me, but I think she said it was 1800s reproductions. I really like the um, fabrics. They kind of hold their own. So I didn't do a whole lot with the quilting design on this. I ended up using Trillium Leaf because I didn't want it to overpower and also just using a creamy, very light cream color thread so it would not take over the design so that the patterns themselves will be the star of the show and she actually used this fabric here for the backing and as I said because it is very subtle and things are matching you're not really seeing a whole lot of the actual quilting but it's just called trillium leaf and this is the last of the quilts in this session. Um, this is our Quilt Gills raffle quilt. We're supposed to have a quilt show in 2021. I'm not sure what how that's going to happen, but at least the quilt is ready, even if we don't do it for two years. I've had people asking me about if the raffle quilt will actually 
be available for tea quilters to buy tickets and whenever the tickets do go on sale i would make sure that the you all are notified and give you a um information on how you can buy tickets so this quilt is actually turned sideways just because i didn't want a whole lot of it on the ground here so it's actually turned sideways and so it is a very large quilt it's about I'm just gonna guess and say 90 by like 110 something like that maybe 100 by 110 something like that because it's got one extra block uh, going lengthwise so very pretty quilt I think this pattern is by Iowa Star Quilts Her name is Cynthia Dranger and uh, she has such beautiful piece designs. I liked uh, Jennifer designed this quilt. I think Jennifer probably did most of the piecing because we haven't met as a guild, but I'm not sure about that. But um, I love how she has just a spot of orange popping throughout the blocks just randomly here and there. So she did an awesome job. Great with the design work on this. So that's gonna be it for this session. If I get more done, this is like I said, April 4th. If I get more done in a month, I will most definitely come back and add on to this video. So today I'm showing you two quilts. Both of them are by Betsy. And I am showing you the first one that's mostly squares and rectangles. I really like it because it's a great scrap buster quilt. And I may have to make one of these someday. <laughs> so very nice design. I don't know who it's by as far as the pattern, but you're basically making two different blocks. And then those blocks are kept consistent in the row that it's in. And then you alternate the rows. So I really think it's gorgeous. I'm not sure what's her top and bottom, but I think I have the top of her quilt on the ground. But very nice quilting. I am showing you it's all batiks and you can already see what backing fabric she used a green batik and then the quilting panto that I used is curls which is a great one for setting up quilts that you just want texture on and I was trying to find green thread but I couldn't find the right green thread so that when I used it on the back and the front that the front didn't the green didn't take over and on the back that the darkness of the thread didn't pop through on the top so had difficulties with thread so I just opted to use white in both top and bottom the next quilt cool top here uh, Betsy made with okay. so the next quilt here from Betsy is a strip quilt I like her black bow accent the theme of it is Halloween very nice and graphic I like how she pieced her top and bottom corners with piecing right here so just added a little accent into the upper left and lower right corners so thought that was pretty cool I like her layout as well and for this the quilting design I chose was a ghost pattern and the ghosts kind of go around in a square <laughs> and I'm trying to find a ghost for you but when you're guided into the prints this is the top of the ghost head and then you've got the eyes then it comes in and make a mouth and then the body and then it swings around and it makes another ghost so each ghost is kind of on the left the left top right and bottom so it kind of sweeps around into a circle but this a panto was called ghostly For her background fabric, she also chose the Halloween print for it as well. So nicely done. I think this is my first Halloween quilt that I've quilted as well on my long arm system. So that was pretty fun too and got to play with a fun design instead of a more serious design. So that's it for now. I'll see you all later in the month. Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today is Monday, April 19th, and I am working on a couple of shirts and thought that I would show them to you. These shirts are available for sale on my website, www.tquilts.com.
This is my So So Busy Quilting shirt. It's made with glitter HTV. See if it'll zoom in. I mean, focus here, not zoom. But there you go. Cute little shirt. It's $25 for sizes small through XL and $30 for sizes 2XL and higher. This shirt here is another shirt that I make. This is a custom shirt. I make them for any state, any quilter. This shirt is also the same price, $25 for the shirt in small through XL and $30 for the shirt in sizes 2XL and higher. Uh, some shirts I can custom order if you're looking for long sleeve shirts. That would be an additional $5 on top of your order. And those shirts will probably take like up to two weeks to make because I'd have to order them, make sure I have, I can get the supply before I can provide them. But I have this shirt made already, like the design already made in 13 states. But if I don't have your state made, I will make sure that I make you a custom shirt. So any state you're in, I can make this shirt for you. So that's it for now. I'll see you all in another week or so. Hi Tea Quilters, it is Tuesday, June 28th, I think, <laughs> 2021. And I'm here to do a closing of the completed projects. I am here with a customer's quilt that I've quilted. I have not posted a completed project since February 2021. <laughs> Uh, so I am just going to compile all of the videos or pictures that I have into this video. And then we'll be caught up and hopefully when I get to July we'll be a little bit better with showing you what I'm working on I'm pretty sure you're gonna miss a lot of things you can see some of the projects I've been working on by watching other videos especially the live sewing chats so let me show you this customers quilt that I quilted so this is the quilt here and it is just gorgeous I love how the bands of color are going through in the log cabin. Uh, this is my 93, 94 year old senior quilter and she's very good with designing. This however is her daughter's quilt that she designed and they've been kind of working on this project together and her daughter is not really a quilter but she wanted to make a quilt. And also her daughter has since recently passed and so this is now a memoriam quilt and I just thought that I would share it with you guys. Uh, the panto I used on this is SS Pan P A S S P A N dash eleven, and I'll put a photo up if I remember. In the center of the quilt, they added these stars, and I just stopped the panto when it got to the star area and just kind of went around them just freehand. I could not use my ruler attachment because it would have hit the frame while I was doing the panto. But very beautiful quilt. I love, love, love this design. Beautiful work. And I'm sorry that I just can't show you the whole thing. If I pull it down any further, it will fall off the deck. But let me see if I can go to the other side just to give you a glimpse. So I just wanted to show you that those bands of color they continue to come through and um, just a little peek of the backing fabric that was used. I used a variegated thread on top and then light blue bottom line in the bottom. Even though I'm still currently making blocks, I did want to come show that I did do the GE Designs Hey June. 
quilt pattern. I didn't get the pattern, but I saw the YouTube videos and thought that I would make a few blocks of this as well. I love the colors. So it's going to be... I'm not sure if I want to do the darker browns that are in the fabric in some places. You can barely see it in this one. But you can see the darker brown in here. So I've got other you know prints I'm using a charm pack and I am using yardage from there so I'm only using um, a stable fabric for my background my light and then my dark is all yardage light is all yardage and then I'm using background squares and I'm only using half of them because half of them will have this in each block so I didn't have enough lights in the charm pack so I decided to cut my own and then to make it cohesive I'm putting that in every four pack that I'm making so that's it guys for this video I will see you next time thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video bye bye tea quilters stay blessed